Welcome back. We've discovered that Jesse Baines is staying at this motel using the alias of Bill Cole, and he's apparently staying in room 108. Now, what room is that? Is it this one? This is room 108. Good. Well, we should get the key. I don't care if you're the Queen of England, he blurts out. I have an obligation to my customers, and I know the law, and there ain't nobody getting any key. Okay. You're gonna be difficult. That's your choice. It won't deter me, though. So let's um, get in. Uh, oh, let's get back in the car to ask for a warrant. Keith yells, "Geez, Sonny, hold on a second, will ya? You don't have to get in. I'm just going to use a radio. Um, we should radio for a warrant, but we should also radio for backup." Because this is a felony arrest, and procedures stated in the manual say that we need backup for that. So let's ask for that as well. So we can end this case uh, here. Baines is still in that hotel room, he is done for. And we'll be behind bars before afternoon tea. Chief grabs the mic. Dispatch for Mary 2 requesting backup at our 1020. 1020 means location, of course. Dispatch answers. 10 4 for Mary 2, we advised a support team as we dispatch to your 1020. And radio for a warrant so we can get that room key. Dispatch for Mary 2 requesting one search warrant for room number 108 at our 1020. 10 4 to the right will be advised. A search warrant will be obtained and delivered to 1020. Good. We'll get him this time. Okay, we're getting out. There's the backup team. The officer says, Here's the search warrant, Sonny. say thanks. Okay, let's also get uh, our field kit out of the trunk because after we finish this uh, arrest we want to do some investigating inside I suppose. You place your... What? Oh. What the hell did I just do? I got distracted somehow. I want to close the trunk. Whatever. Thing is that this is something where I can easily do something wrong and die as a result of it, so I'm trying to pay attention to doing everything in the proper order, and as a result, got distracted from uh, what I was supposed to be doing in the trunk. Okay, let's show the manager the warrant. Hopefully he'll give us the key now. You show the sh search warrant to the manager, and he says, Okay, now what? Well, we want, the we want the key. Anything you say, officer, the manager says, as he gives you the key to room 108. You're a bit more uh, cooperative now, aren't you? Okay. Now it's very important to stand beside the door and open it. If you stand in front of it, that's not a good idea, as you'll see. Key says, Sunny, be careful now! As the door opens, you're startled by a sudden explosion. Trained reflexes throw you back, slamming your gun hand against the wall. That was too close for comfort, you say to yourself. 
You watch as the SWAT team unloads tear gas into the room. Okay. Looks like somebody rigged uh, the door to blow up. Or something like that. So if we had been standing in front of the door, we would have died. Now we need to wait for the tear gas to clear out. Otherwise we'll... Uh, uh, suffocate or something when entering the room, uh, and it appears that this has happened. The gas is cleared. It appears that you can enter the motel room. Okay. Let's get in there. Keith walks over, picks a up a shotgun off the floor and says, Here's a little culprit, Sonny. I'll take it out to the car and run the numbers. Okay, looks like the room is clear, so I can put away my gun. Looks like Bane's jury rigged a shotgun to the door, so it would go off whenever somebody tried to open the door. So that's the explosion we heard, was just a shotgun shot going through the door. You see a dark stain on the carpet. The booby trap consisted of a shotgun, cable, and pulleys. It was nearly a deadly combination. As you look at the mechanism that nearly cost you your life, you think, Baines, you heartless rat! Okay. Hmm, nice picture on the wall. You look at the painting and think, not bad for a print. There is blood here, though. There's a dark stain on the carpet. And um, we will need to have a... Um, get a sample of that blood, of course. So it's a good thing we got that field kit again. What do you mean you're not close enough? Using the eyedropper, you take a sample of the blood from the floor and put it into a vial. Okay, let's see if we can find any other evidence here. Maybe on the nightstand. No. Oh. Keith returns and says, A shotgun has once on it from a local burglary. burglary. He continues, We can contact burglary revision for more information. Okay, we should do that when we come back then. Let's look. Dresser. Um... Looks like... What do I call this? Damn it. <laughs> nightstand? It's a common type of motel nightstand. With a single drawer. Okay, that was the correct term then. Let's open that drawer. You open the drawer and look inside. You find an envelope with the corner torn off. Aha! Uh -huh. I think that will uh, will match the corner we uh, we found and it was indeed addressed to Woody so Baines did send Woody a message that is uh, interesting Let's see if there's anything in the envelope Oh, I need to take it first. Okay. As you examine the envelope, you compare it with the piece of paper found on Roberts, and... They match. You also note that the envelope is addressed to Woody Roberts. After reading the letter, you ponder its contents and think... Baines mailed the letter, hoping to suck Roberts in by offering him a business deal. Roberts fell for it and responded to the letter. He came to the motel room where Baines killed him in cold blood. Then he put him in the trunk of the car and dropped the, the car off at the warehouse district. It's all beginning to make sense. Okay, let's see if there's any more evidence here. Let's check the bathroom. You look around the empty bathroom. You see a typical ba bathroom fixtures. A sink, a toilet, a shower, and a mirror. Hmm. You don't have time for self-admiration. 
Is this one of those mirrors that opens? No. How about the toilet? Nothing special. It's just a normal motel toilet. Hmm? What about the sink? Looking at the tiled sink, you see what appears to be a business card. You pick up the card. We'll have to find out what it says in the next video.